Hi all folks, this is Max from NexusSHacks.com. So I'm going to show you how to install a new ROM. Um, so first, what you want to do is um, you have to have your phone rooted. If you don't know how, go to NexusSHacks.com um, and then go download uh, this app called ROM Manager. Right? Oops. Don't worry about my SIM card. I have a bunch of phones and I took it out. Um, so install this. I already installed it and open it. And then what you want to do is flash the latest version, okay? Uh, this is very important. You, you just only have to do it once. Um, so flash clockwork recovery. And if you have Nexus S, choose Nexus S. If you have a Nexus S 4G, Nexus S 4G. Um, this is a Nexus regular Nexus S. So I'm going to choose regular Nexus S. Whoops. And you'll see that it's flashing the uh, latest clockwork mod recovery. All right. Okay, and uh, I'm gonna install this ROM. Um, you can do a, install ROM from SD card if it's just one zip file, but the ROM file I'm installing has uh, two files, so I'm gonna do it manually. So just reboot into recovery, um, and I'll show you how to do it re manually. It's very simple. So I'll be back. So I am in recovery. Um, before you got into it, you're you're supposed to copy over the ROM files and maybe Google Apps files before you boot it into here but if you forgot it's very simple uh, go to mount and storage hit the power button and go to mount USB storage you see there and if you hit the power button it's going to connect your Nexus S uh, or Nexus S 4G as a disk drive but I'm not going to do that because I copied over the ROM zip files earlier and then go to uh, wipe and data factory reset and uh, this is going to erase all your personal apps data um, it's going to start over scratch you can always go to backup and restore and hit backup to back up your whole current ROM which saves all, uh, a lot of time and also it saves all your apps data the whole ROM and the kernel so let's go wipe data factory reset hit the power button go to yes and hit the power button and this should take like five seconds one maybe three seconds so that's complete already so that erases um, your personal data apps and whatnot and next we're gonna install the ROM install zip from SD card hit the power button uh, uh, choose zip from SD card hit the power button and then we're gonna go find the ROM I'm gonna install the ice and fire uh, which is a uh, it, which comes with a ice cream sandwich um, launcher, which I'll have a review of. Um, so I'm gonna press uh, power on that zip file. Say yes. Hit the power button. And this should take about five minutes. So I suggest you go have a smoke. Um, and uh, we'll be back after these messages. Actually, that took less than a minute. Uh, anyway, that's installing done. Um, but here's the thing: um, some some uh, ROMs come with Google Apps. You have to install separately. This one does. Um, so I'm gonna choose zip from SD card again, and I'm gonna flash the Google Apps file, which is the gapps-gb. This one. Um, so hit that power button. If you don't have that, then don't worry about it and reboot. Hit the power button, and I'm gonna install the Google Apps hit the power button and that should take like one second go back hit the power button reboot system hit the power button and uh, that should have installed a new ROM for you um, and uh, th you know this is probably the best way to do it because um, you can do it from ROM manager but if you have to flash two files this is a better way um, just do it this way I find it uh, much more you know, accurate. Sometimes ROM manager, if something goes wrong, you can't do anything. You have to reboot into manually into. Uh, oh, there comes uh, the uh, the ROM Ice and Fire IAF. Pretty cool, right? Um, so that's how you install a new ROM a on a Nexus S or Nexus S 4G. Uh, make sure you flash the latest a Clockwork mod recovery. Um, that's all I can tell you, I guess. And that way you have the latest clockwork mod recovery that works really good. Um, so 
I'll be back when this completely reboots to show you that um, the in installation has been successful. Oh, actually, there we go. So I've got the Nexus S uh, logo, which started over. It erased all my apps, um, but you can use uh, apps like Titanium Manager, uh, which allows you to back up all your apps and restore it. I'll have another video on that, um, so check back. Um, and if you made a backup of your old ROM, like I told you, um, you should always be able to restore back, uh, backup your apps again in um, Titanium uh, Backup, and then restore it um, after installing a new ROM. Or you can also backup this new ROM and then do that. So anyway, thanks y'all. Subscribe. If you have any questions, um, I'll make a new video. So don't forget to leave in the comment section below in the YouTube or in the blog post. Thanks y'all. See y'all later.